Welcome to another episode of the Purple Pony Chronicles. Today I'm here with the legendary <laughs> Matt Hoffman. You, how old were you when you hit the scene and really started to gain some fame and notoriety as a BMX legend? Um, well, I started, I started in Red Constant. Yeah, I guess I started getting in the media around 14. Did you have games? Did you date a lot of chicks before then, or did it change? No, I kind of went through the whole puberty stage. In that you know world, I think in a, as a young kid going through puberty, you just uh, learn quicker than most. Maybe you know? did women throw themselves at you? I remember a thirty-four year old when I was fifteen picking up on me. You like, know, and I was moms like moms and stuff. Yeah, but that, that was kind of odd. You know, I was amazed when we did um, Aaron's pube face for the <laughs> terror taxi, and you helped donate some hair. But what we found out was that. You have, like, a, or had a man bush, right? <laughs> there is some serious going, stuff going on. So I was wondering what you thought about male grooming. I'm pretty hairy because, I mean, I just had my head shaved a week ago, and it's already, it's already growing <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah, so I pretty much am, like, one of those uh, dolls that you just see the hair growing, you know. And she fat. But we were talking about shaving our, <laughs> ourselves yesterday. I, but you and also sure. were just having this conversation. We were having this conversation. He's like, yeah, man, it was just... It's so great how much how how more manly I looked afterwards. You know, it's like I gained a, a, I doubled my girth in one shave. So I think Knoxville since since uh, uh, since that occasion, I think he's he's a regular shaver. Just so he, 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 he builds his pride. It totally you know? grosses me out to hear about Knoxville's privates, but everyone else's makes me totally fine. What do you think? What are your preferences on women? I get this question from girls a lot. Like trim, shave, wax, seventies porn bush. Uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. Um, have you ever gotten hurt from your bike in down down there? This is pretty crazy, and I haven't shared it with many people because. Uh, <laughs> but he's but, sharing uh, it with me. But you know, it is. You. <laughs> yeah, I was riding my my ramp by myself at my house, and uh, and I was like, and I had a that weekend. I had a demo coming up with Tony Hawk in Dallas, mm -hmm. and. You know, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna work on a couple, a uh, couple old variations, but you know, just to throw into this demo. And so I was, there's this one called a Canadian Air One Hander, where you do, you do that, and then this foot comes in like, like this, and so you're just all twisted, kind of, and so it's just like you're juggling all around. And um, and when I did it, I totally missed my pedals coming in, and I so I put all my weight from probably like a eight foot air out of a twelve foot ramp or a thirteen foot ramp, you know, on on my seat and. Those two rails pop through the seat, and then uh, so it's like two spikes mm -hmm. coming out of the seat, pop, poke through my pants into both sides of my balls, and pierced through either side of them. Uh, both it, balls or one ball? Both sides, yeah, both both, both. balls. Like I mean, just per, you have like two could, balls. Huh? Do you have two balls? Yes. Okay, I still, so I still, one <laughs> is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still complete, but I've got to figure out something to kind of hold my balls together and, and have it so they they mend. So I. I broke off like some, I found some duct tape. I made like a, a duct tape cast over my balls. Were you able to ride and stuff? Well, the first demo, it, it hurt pretty, it was pretty painful. And I was like, man, because I, because I'm also, you know, I've, I've never worn underwear. So I've always been a free baller. And, you are. And so uh, um, I think either Rick Dorn or Kevin Robinson offered me their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should stop now. Are yeah. you, um... Ass or a boob guy? Um, you know, I, I admire the whole package. Sex or blowjob? Sex. I like to ad admire uh, my partner. You don't get to just admire the top. Oh, nice top of head. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like whatever. So maybe. Well, because my girlfriends tell me that if you get married, you don't have to give blowjobs anymore. Is that true? Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun interviewing a married person. There's so much I don't know. Do you like things put up your butt? Uh, no. Not at all? What if a girl is making... This is the question that I get from a lot of our community members. If you're, a girl is making out with a guy and he wants her to put something up his butt, is it gay or kinky? I don't know. I mean, I guess just having something in your butt doesn't make you gay if you're with a girl, right? So... 
I guess it wouldn't be gay. It would just, yeah, it'd be kinky. kinky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's kinky. Um, that's good you were able to answer that question. Little Kim, I embarrassed her with that question. And she talks about She's a lot of nasty stuff. Then, you know. Yeah. What about uh, farting? Have you ever farted while you were making out with a girl? Oh, I'm sure. But um, not like completely busted. I don't know. Has a girl but... ever farted with you? I think if you're having sex, it should be beyond like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop, what the fuck, you just farted. If you could have sex with any of the jackass guys, who would you choose? Ooh, that is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't mind spooning with Pontius once or twice. He's a fan favorite. <laughs> Maybe not sex, some people get intimidated by the sex because they've seen how, like, the Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, the Pontius, but no, I don't know, I mean, he just he's just such a sweet man, you know. Oh, he's a, he would be a good color. Which one would you absolutely, lowest on the totem pole, never touch with a 10-foot pole? Knoxville. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>